Hello and welcome back to some more Diablo 3. Today we are doing a 26 Greater Rift, which I'm pretty sure we were at. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully things go well. I don't remember how well the last one went, even though that one kind of went up yesterday. So it's like, I probably should be more aware than that. But, you know, whatever. Could go good, could go bad. I don't know, right now I'm kind of used to playing on my Witch Doctor, which is another character that I'm working on. And so... Like, this feels this feels like it's going a lot faster than that, but... You know, obviously because it is, and because I'm more powerful. Um, you know, <laughs> among various other things, but... I don't know. It just feels really... strange, I guess being on here after playing my Witch Doctor, which pretty much kind of plays the same way. Um, it just does less damage, so... It's very, very, uh... I guess surreal. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I would uh, explain that any better. Or any worse than what I just did, but... That's, that's kind of how I feel with all of this at the current moment in time. Right, let's get out of here. It's one cheat death down. But yeah, it's it's very, very interesting the the contrast, and at the same time, not really like the playstyle for the most part is the same. I mean, I'm going to be using dots and trying to do continuous damage. But I think my witch doctor, once it's all uh, once it's kitted out for the most part, is going to have probably the highest damage potential out of all of my characters, which oddly enough do sort of play the same way. I, I don't know if that's boring or not for you guys, but I, I do like to stay, you know, away from most monsters because, well, you know, I think that's it's kind of the name of the game at this point because most monsters can, can wreck my face and that's not fun. These things are really fast. They're extremely fast and it's almost, oh no, okay, I was going to say, they're not not really dead yet. I don't know what's going on. Like that, and I'd like to get out of here. Seems like a good plan. Oh, I got one of my cheat deaths back. Which uh, could be out of here soon enough. I think. But, either way. You know, fantasy football yesterday, but I do have something to talk about, it actually went pretty well. For a while, it was looking really grim, just because... Uh my tight end on my team, one of my, yeah, well, I mean, it was pretty much my, my tight end and my kicker uh, did pretty shitty. Um, not really any fault to them, honestly. It's, you know, it is a team effort after all, but tight end ended up getting me like one point, like seven or nine points or something. It was pretty crappy, and my kicker only got me one. I ended up missing a 50-yard field goal, and I don't really, like, I can't really, like, put that against them. You know, obviously in the heat of the moment when I'm watching it and, like... Or not really watching the game itself, because I don't have one of those TVs that can watch multiple channels or anything, but... You know, I was just watching, you know, a game here and there and keeping up with the stats on the site, and... You know, it did hurt at that point in time. But, eh, you know, in the end... In the end, things worked out. I blew up. In the end, things ended up working out, so... Can't really be too mad, although I do kind of wish that things went better, but, you know, hey, that is, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes, right? You know, you're not, not gonna win, you're not, things aren't always going to go according uh, to plan, but, uh, you know, like I said, things ended up working out, so can't really be too mad, both cheat deaths gone, I can be mad about that, though certainly be upset about that. There's still some, some monsters around here. I don't know. I don't know. For the most part, Sunday Sunday ended up being a good day. Sunday ended up being a good day. Saturday ended up being a good day, too. I got to see, got to see some friends that I haven't uh, hung out with in a little bit, and that's always fun, and it's always great to reminisce and just play some games. We ended up playing a bunch of uh, uh, Smash... Uh, Project M Smash, to be more precise, and we kind of nostalgia out on the uh, 
the Naruto series is like the the Ninja Tyson series on the GameCube, which eventually moved over to the Wii. So we ended up playing that, and that was a whole lot of fun. It was a, it was good times to be had by by everyone, really. Good times to be had for all. Fortunately, it did not last uh, too long, but you know, for the couple of hours that we just got to hang out and just kind of chillax and stuff, it was, it was good stuff. Good stuff indeed. All right, let's just throw it out on there. Let's get some more of these guys. I finally got to see the uh, the movie Lucy. Ah, I did not get out of that in time. Finally got to see the movie Lucy. It was it was okay. I mean, you know, Scarlett Johansson. I don't really disapprove of her in anything that she's in. Um, but Lucy was very like the story. Well, it took an interesting concept, I'll say, um, of the whole like we only use a certain percent of our brains, um, which to some capacity that isn't wrong, but it's not like it's not the amount that was set forth in the story. Um, we use more than 10% of our brains, it's just that we don't always use it like that much percentage all the time. And it did postulate some inter interesting things. I will say for the movie, the movie was visually, um, there was a lot of uh, visual effects and stuff. And it was really good, it was polished and it was really nice. Um, the story, like I said, as silly as it was, it was entertaining enough. I just keep blowing up. It was entertaining enough and it was enjoyable, so... You know, it wasn't really, uh, I wouldn't say it was like a theater movie, maybe. Um, definitely worth watching uh, afterwards at home. I mean, the effects probably could have been enhanced in the theater, but it really wouldn't, the theater atmosphere wouldn't have added much to it. It was just very, I don't know, cliched, I guess, if I could say that. Then again, what, what movie isn't these days, but... Yeah, it was, it was a very it was a very cliched uh, film. Themes weren't really anything anything original, but eh, you know, for the most part, it it did what it set out to do. You know, you had Morgan Freeman as well, so you gotta gotta have the the wise character, and of course, you know, Morgan Freeman. Uh, it was it was good for the most part. It was good. Uh, there's some other names that I recognize, but I don't actually remember at the time, so. You know, apologies to them, but for the most part, like I said, the movie was just, it was just okay. And then there was also lots of, lots of animus to be watched. More Fate, uh, I think, uh, what else? A uh, new arc of Sword Art started, or the last arc of Sword Art, I think, and a bunch of other things. Uh, more Cross, Cross Angie came out last week, which I'm not really sure what what's really going on with that series it's it's a sunrise series or it's made by the by the sunrise studio so it's pretty much gundam seed but like all women and like very very i get i guess because it's more like because there are more it's more female oriented there is a bit more like hyper sexualization of the characters and stuff and uh, it's sunrise you know so you know they do that they 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 do that even in you know gundam seed um even in regular gundam series where a majority of the cast is male but um a bit less it, it's it's toned down in there because you're you're more focused on like the combat but you know even if you look at um, a lot of the ways that the the mechs move and are animated, and a lot of the attacks, it's pretty much like almost a carbon copy of a lot of the uh, animation that was used in um, Seed and Seed Destiny and stuff. So I don't, I don't know if I can really like really get behind this series, but it hasn't really disappointed. It's just very it's just very uninspired, I guess. Um, it's still mildly entertaining to watch. Um, they also had <laughs> they had the, the cliche moment that they have in, in every moment, usually usually with the female characters, where um, they have to go through this drastic, this really drastic change after they make some kind of realization about themselves, and the change usually involves them in, involves some kind of like inner monologue, 
um, usually involving like a dead person or some like you know something that they were responsible for, um, and they end up you know kind of staring off into like the sunset or they're, they're looking at something in really deep thought. And what happens is, in order to make this transition into a new character, um, you know, the next evolution of their character, they end up cutting off their hair uh, because it's really long, you know, with their knife. And they become more, uh, not really like cold hearted, but uh, they're more like battle oriented. Like, that's them acknowledging that. They have to make some kind of drastic change in order to in order to cope with everything that's happened, and that's pretty much what happened. You know, the main character Angie. You know, spoilers if you guys are watching her, you haven't watched yet or whatever. But um, she ended up um, being responsible for killing at least like four people, and it's not really like her directly responsible. I mean, it kind of is, but she didn't like actually like kill them. You know, she. She freaked out, made some bad choices, and that ended up getting a bunch of her teammates killed. Um, and so they're like, yeah, you know, you have to you have to focus on the here and the now, and you have to do all this this stuff. Oh, I didn't... Again, I, I didn't realize that I didn't have my, my buffs up. Um, but yeah, she had to make a choice, and she did. Uh, because at the start of the series, we saw that um, this really strong version of her taking out the the dragons that they have to they have to combat to keep the world safe, um, and then that, they they kind of Tarantinoed it where they showed us sort of like the end result first, and then they went back into her story, you know, into her backstory and find out you know how she got here and like what drove her to become this character, what drove the change, and so that happened. So I'm sure now we're going to see, you know, the evolution of her character from this point forward. They also did that another cliche thing where they're like, oh, there's this like really old, old piece of equipment that's supposed to be like really badass or something, but no one's been able to successfully pilot it or blah, 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 whatever. And so they gave it to her with like some special piece of like jewelry, which might have been like her mother's ring or something. and. You know, in the moment of desperation, the the ring like awoken something like inside her, where she she became this like she was the only one that could have piloted you know this thing. It was like destiny. You know, it was her destiny to to, to pilot this vehicle because only she could, and blah blah blah, whatever. It's very you know, it's a very cliched, very cliched story, very sunrisey Gundam story. Um, but for the most part, I don't really have anything against uh, Sunrise Productions. I know a lot of people don't don't like uh, Gundam Seed, and I don't personally hate Gundam Seed, nor do I not enjoy it. I mean, I definitely do. Um, there's always like pain that accompanies uh, any Sunrise Gundam Gundam Seed, and it, it definitely or Gundam series, and it definitely reared its head uh, during. <laughs> during Cross Angie for sure. She went through a whole bunch of shit and I'm sure it's not over. So we can look forward to more of that, I guess. Um, we'll see where the series goes. I'm pretty sure it's going to be um, at least 26 episodes, usually Sunrise series. Uh, if they don't last for, you know, like a Gundam, like typically for their Gundam series, they usually go about uh, 50 something episodes, usually 50, um, and then usually they have an alternate ending episode that lasts an hour. So, I don't know. Cross Cross Angie doesn't seem like it's going to be that deep or that convoluted, really. I think it's going to end up being, eh, at the very least, uh, they're going to have two seasons. It's probably going to be like 13 episodes for the first one, and then we'll get the second season uh, probably sometime next year, I would say, once this one finishes. So. There's always that, but let's see. Ooh, I got a decent amount of stuff here. Pretty decent amount of stuff. That's a Thor's belt. This is Depth Diggers. I don't know what this ring is. It's probably probably shit, to be honest. But, you know, whatever. I mean, that's it for now. We got through a pretty good amount of stuff. And on the next one, we are going to be running into a 27 rift. So... That'll be it. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you on that one.